So here's a statement you should have issued, Joe. You should have said, I call Draymond Green a knuckle dragger because I wanted to imply that he's stupid and obnoxious, which he is. The same could be said about the outraged mob lying about me and calling me racist. I do not believe that any of you drama queens and phonies are actually offended. And whether you are or aren't, I do not apologize. God bless. Today we have uh, many cancellations to hand out, all revolving around a local Fox weatherman in Memphis named Joey Sulapek. Now, why do we need to talk about a weatherman in Memphis? I mean, what could he possibly have done to warrant discussion? Well, according to the media, he did a tweet. And not just any tweet, but a racist tweet. Indeed, the headlines, and there are a lot of headlines about this weatherman's tweet, all agree that the tweet was racist and that he is racist and that he likely holds Klan meetings in his basement every Tuesday. Just to give you an idea, here are some of the, the headlines. Um, just reading a few. Memphis meteorologist under fire over racist Draymond Green t- tweet. Local TV meteorologist in Memphis sparks furor with racist comments about warriors Draymond Green. Memphis TV station promises investigation after meteorologist sends racist tweet about warriors Draymond Green. Draymond Green, the target of Memphis meteorologist racial slur. And then Fox 13 TV weatherman makes stunningly racist comment about Draymond Green. Now, you'll notice that none of these headlines use the word alleged or purported or possible. If they use any qualifier at all, it's stunning. They simply assert that he used a racial slur, and that's the end of it. No further discussion necessary. But if you're wondering what the man actually said, as if such a detail even matters anymore, here's the New York Post article. It says, a Memphis-based meteorologist is under investigation by his employer for using a racial slur in a tweet about Warriors star Draymond Green amid the Grizzlies-Warriors playoff series. Fox 13 Memphis chief meteorologist Joey Sulapek, who is white, tweeted the following after game three. Get ready for this. Uh, Chew on this. Draymond runs his knuckle-dragging open mouth all game long, but mild-mannered Kyle Anderson disputes one call and gets ejected? Next level jackassery. Uh, And then it says, Sulapek reportedly deleted the tweet after facing backlash, and he later deleted his entire Twitter account. So, that's it. Did you spot the racism? Probably not, seeing as how he didn't say anything even remotely racially charged. He used the term knuckle-dragging to describe Green. That's a common expression a kind of cliched insult often applied to people of all different races and meant to imply that they are, as the Oxford Dictionary defines the term, a stupid or loutish person. The dictionary makes no mention of any racial connotation, much less does it say that the term is a racial slur. In fact, it has never in my life even occurred to me to interpret knuckle-dragger in a racist way. And it's still not immediately clear to me why it would be racist, aside from the simple fact that it's an insult and we live in a culture so incredibly stupid that literally any insult of a black person is immediately assumed to be racist. But is there more behind it than that? Here's an article on the sports news site marca.com, and it provides this explanation. This is what they say. The term knuckle dragger has long been used by bigots to describe an angry black man. It is meant to compare them to a large and enraged ape such as a gorilla. Wait, what? Since when has knuckle dragger meant that? I have literally not once in my entire life ever heard anyone use it in that context. In fact, as is so often the case in these kinds of situations, you would have to be extremely racist to actually see the term as racist. If you hear knuckle dragger and immediately think, oh, he must be saying that black people are apes, then it's you who harbors deeply racist thoughts and ideas within yourself. That's what's known as projecting. Ironically, we see again how the alleged racist villain is actually being penalized for not being racist. The weatherman is so not racist that it never so much as crossed his mind to interpret the term in a racist way. He insulted Draymond Green the same way that he would insult anybody else. He treated Draymond Green as as equal. He didn't take his race into consideration one way or another, and for that, his entire career and his life will be destroyed. And on that note, his employer released a statement shortly after the non-racist racist tweet went viral, saying, During Saturday's Memphis Grizzlies game, meteorologist Joey Selopek tweeted a comment that does not reflect the values of Fox 13. We take this matter very seriously and will take appropriate action pending a full investigation. Translation, he's gone. And he'll never work in the industry ever again. Powerful people in the NBA have already set out to make sure 
uh, of that part of it. Green's coach, the leftist goober Steve Kerr, actually addressed the tweet during his postgame press conference. And here's what he said. Does it surprise me that a weatherman would tweet a, a slur at Draymond um, in 2022? Not in the slightest bit. This is this is America. This is this is how we operate. A slur. Like, is that so we're going with that now? So we're gonna call it the K-word? Are we gonna get we gonna bleeped out if you say knuckle dragger now? And Kerr, once again, bravely speaking out about the important issues of our time, such as a weatherman's tweet. Steve, Steve Kerr, he loves to give his opinion and run his knuckle dragging mouth about many subjects. That is, unless you ask him about the NBA's relationship with China. That's when he suddenly gets very shy. He'll bravely denounce a weatherman in Memphis, but as for the communist government of China, which his company is in business with, he has much less to say. Nothing at all to say, in fact. Now, be that as it may, Kerr is right, actually. He says that this is what America is, and uh, and, and this is what we, we do here. And he's correct um, that this is what we do here. At least it's what he does here, along with his leftist compatriots and the media. What they do is entertain themselves and advertise their own faux virtue and exercise their cultural power by destroying the lives of random hapless patsies like this weatherman. Much like they did with the OK sign, they've now simply invented a racial slur out of whole cloth. They've decided arbitrarily that knuckle dragger is racist. Anybody who uses it in the future or who used it in the past, because these rules can be enforced retroactively, of course, uh, must face the consequences. Your intent doesn't matter. They will determine your intent. They will decide why you said what you said. They get to assign motivation and meaning to your, to your statements after the fact. So there's not going to be any discussion about it. They will tell you what you meant, and you will accept it. At least if you're foolish and self-destructive, you'll accept it. And as far as that goes, Solopec is uh, trying to kind of have his cake and eat it too, as far as the apologies go. This is a common mistake that people in this situation make. Before deleting his social media, he issued a statement that attempts to defend himself against the racism charge while still apologizing for it. So he tweeted, anyone who knows me knows what I am. Race is never an issue to me. To anybody who was offended, I apologize, but there was no ill intent. Well, of course there was no ill intent. Obviously, you didn't mean it in a racist way. We know you didn't mean it that way because the term is, in fact, not a racial slur. We also know you didn't mean it that way because even if you were a raging racist, you wouldn't set your life and career on fire by advertising the fact on Twitter. Well, that, that's another thing that's always left out of these conversations of, you know, someone says something, and, oh, it was racist. He, like, in this fantasy world where this guy's racist, why would he say that? So you're saying he's not only racist, but he's psychotic on top of it. Because in order to, to be a, 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 a person... In, anywhere, but especially a public figure with any kind of platform, and to say something intentionally racist, that is racist against black people as a white person. Of course, we know if you're saying racist people, things about white people, that you can totally get away with it. But to do it the other way, you, you would not only have to be racist, but you would also have to be a psycho. You would have to be a lunatic, setting your whole life on fire for no personal benefit. So we all know that's not what happened here. Everyone who's pretending to be offended knows that. Um, the people in the media writing all of these headlines, defaming him, they all know this. Steve Kerr knows it. Nobody's hurt. Nobody's offended. And even if they are offended, who cares? Joey, you, you didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing to apologize for. By apologizing, you admit guilt even while in the next breath denying guilt. You have to pick a lane. And the lane you pick should be the one where you punch the cry bullies in the mouth and tell them to get lost. So here's a statement you should have issued, Joey. You should have said, I call Draymond Green a knuckle dragger because I wanted to imply that he's stupid and obnoxious, which he is. The same could be said about the outraged mob lying about me and calling me racist. I do not believe that any of you drama queens and phonies are actually offended, and whether you are or aren't, I do not apologize. God bless. That's the correct response. In fact, Draymond Green himself, interestingly, reacted to the apology on Instagram after the game by saying, don't apologize, stand on it. Now, in context, he didn't mean this as actual encouragement or advice. His real point was simply to amplify the story so as to further ruin Solopec's life. But however insincere his advice was, it was also solid. He's right. Don't apologize. Stand on it. Never bow to the knuckle draggers in the cancel mob.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.